Good morning, folks. We've got three science articles to hit today. Mars, deep space, and a community favorite continues his battle over the truth of the atmosphere. We'll peek in on the sun as well, and we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. No solar flares, no significant eruptions, just a star completely chock full of plasma filaments and more active regions beginning to emerge into view. The beginning of November kicked off with a bit of a bang, but things are now beginning to calm a bit. We have minor coronal holes north and south, but it is these plasma filaments we're watching closely, like this one. Without major sunspots facing the Earth, this is the primary item we're watching on our star today. Bit of good news, as of this morning, filaments appear relatively stable. Let's go to Mars where air glow has been discovered on the night side of the planet for the first time. Folks, this is interesting because it seems like this is the kind of thing they should have been able to see before. I'm going to dive a bit deeper in the coming days, but for now just know my suspicion is that they didn't see this before because it wasn't there before, and it's just another in a long list of planetary changes in our ongoing solar system shift. Up next, folks, barred spiral galaxies were thought to be impossible before what they consider to be the halfway point of the universe so far. Of course, finding one back to the epoch of galactic formation is just another in a long list of assumptions about the cosmos that turned out to be wrong, contradicts the cosmic timeline and galactic formation models. Last but not least, Nicholas Scafetta, one of the most cited professors on this show over the years, is deep in battle with other scientists over the reaction of the atmosphere to pollution and the future trend projections of temperature. His work earlier this year was fantastic in suggesting low sensitivity and the lower end of warming forecasts. They didn't like that very much, and they went after him. He has responded with definitive strikes at their attack. The bottom line is that the atmosphere is not so sensitive to plant food as the news would have you believe. Greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.